Today in this video we will learn how to take the Postmaster backup to start your Postmaster in a newly different machine. For that first you have to go to the folder where you have installed your Postmaster. Before that let's check how many users we have. So we have got 191 users. So when the Postmaster backup has to be taken and started in a newly system, it should contain the 191 users along with the same configuration that we have in our Postmaster. So let's shut down our Postmaster. Then you have to go to your PMEV8 folder and then go to conf. Under conf you have got one file which is called the connection underscore pull. Open the file. Here you can see that the database that you are currently using for your postmaster is of MySQL. So if you have a database MySQL for your postmaster then you have to take the backup of your MailDB as well. In case if you are using your postmaster in HSQL database that is if here instead of MySQL HSQL is written then only three folders backup has to be taken. So since this is our MySQL we will start taking the backup. So go to your PMEV8 folder and copy the folder conf data backup and users. These three folders will be same whether you are using your postmaster either in HSQL or MySQL. Only in MySQL one uh, extra folder gets added up which is your MailDB. If you can see that under C folder we have taken the backup of conf, data backup, users and then MailDB. Now how to locate where is your MailDB installed for that you have to go to your services select mysql and go to the path where you have installed your maildb for your postmaster then go to data and here you can see your MailDB. So shut down your MySQL and then take the backup of MailDB. So this is the folders that you need to take backup while you are trying to shift your postmaster from the current system to a different system. Next we will install our postmaster in the newly system and for that you can refer to our previous video that is how to install postmaster. So here we have installed our newly postmaster in a different system. Now we will replace the folders of our old postmaster from where we have taken the backup. Let us go to that folder. So here are the files. First copy the three folders. Then move to your newly installed Postmaster, go to PME V8 and replace all the folders. So we will rename the existing folder. Then you have the data backup and lastly the users. Now we will replace here our previous folders of our postmaster. Once this replacing of our folders with the newly postmaster gets over, we will now go to data backup and copy the license. For that uh, after uh, copying the license we have to go to PME V8 and one step back here and the QLC you have got one license so you have to replace this license with your existing postmaster license. So this were the steps about how to replace your existing postmaster folder with the new postmaster uh, that you have installed in a different system to run with the same configuration. 
then you have the male db folder now here if you had used your postmaster in hsql these are the only steps that you had to carry out and once you are done with replacing the folders you have to start the pme-rcrt-dbase file once it is done your postmaster is ready as it was previously since we had our postmaster running previously in mysql one step left for that you have to go to your services and locate your mysql that is the new mysql that you have installed in your newly system here again you have to go to the path and locate where your newly created maildb is there So here is your new MailDB. What you have to do is you have to shut down your MySQL and replace the old MailDB with the new one. All right. So we'll copy our old MailDB. and rename our newly created maildb and paste your old maildb all right so we are done now start your mysql and go back to your folder where you have installed your postmaster once replacing of all these folders is done you have to click on pme rcrt database to recreate your database and get your postmaster with the same configurations and users as it is and running well in your new postmaster system so press any key to continue your process do remember that these folders uh, replacing and then copying depends on the volume of data that you have for your postmaster so while the recreation is taking place you can go through the other tutorial videos that we have for you in our youtube channel and also do remember that this recreation again involves the data that you have uh, in your users folder that is the mail store folder It's taking a bit of time because we have got a huge data in our postmaster that was previously used. After this recreation is done, at the end it will ask you to press any queue to continue to exit this process. Okay, we are still waiting for our database process to get over. Great. Let's press any key. Now we will start our postmaster. Let's start our postmaster. Excellent. So here we have our postmaster installed 
into the new system with all the users and the configuration file. So this is how you can take the uh, folders backup of your old postmaster and then start your postmaster in a new system environment. In case if you need any further assistance in shifting your postmaster from one machine to the another, kindly write to us at support at qlc.in. Thank you.